Hi guys, so I have another cook with me video. So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna be having a beef and a broccoli. I've never made this before, so I thought I'd share it with you. So I, it's the morning, so I'm getting ready to marinate my steak. So I'm gonna let it marinate all day while I'm at work. So here I have some coconut aminos. So I'm gonna put in a quarter cup of the coconut aminos. I'm gonna do just a bag a teaspoon of the ginger and just some minced garlic. So I'm gonna put all of that in this bag along with this meat. So this is just some flank steak that is cut up really thinly. So I just got two packages of that. So I'm gonna put all that in here. Um, this is gonna feed all of us plus have leftovers. So it should be about, I don't know, we'll see how many servings ends up being and I'll have all that information on the screen at the end when I show it to you. So I'm gonna get all that in the bag and I'll show you what it looks like. So the steak was actually still a little bit frozen, um, but it'll be okay by the time I get off work. So here it is. I'm just going to let that sit in the refrigerator all day, and it should be nice and marinated, and I'll show you what I have to do when I get home from work. So I have my broccoli. It's about three cups or so of fresh broccoli, and I have a half of a tablespoon of avocado oil heating up in my pan. I'm going to add the broccoli to that, just get it a little bit crispy, and then I'm going to add in some minced garlic and some ginger. I'm gonna stir that around a little bit and let it cook through. And then I'm adding in a half of a teaspoon of sesame oil. I love, love, love the taste of sesame oil. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on the broccoli and let it cook for about five minutes until it is softened. While my broccoli is cooking, I went ahead and chopped up all my steak and I have it ready to go. So when the broccoli is all done, I'm removing it from the pan, adding the steak in. I'm doing my steak in batches since I have quite a bit here. I have 12 ounces of the steak. And so I wanted to make sure I cut it in batches. Otherwise it cools your pan down and you don't get a real nice crispy texture on your beef. So after my beef is all done, I'm gonna add in the broccoli. And then I'm also going to add on the rest of the ingredients. I'm using a quarter cup of my bone broth and a quarter cup of coconut aminos. I'm just going to add that to the pan, stir it around, and then I'm going to put the lid on there and just let it cook up for a little bit to let all the flavors melt together. And then optional, I went ahead and added on some green onions and some sesame seeds, and I just stirred that all around. And you guys, this was such a good recipe. I really, really liked it. It came in at seven smart points a serving, and you could serve this over rice, over cauliflower rice, but honestly, it was good just on its own as well. It definitely had the flavor, and we had leftovers, and I cannot wait to have the leftovers. I will have the original recipe down below in the description box so you can check it out and try this recipe for yourself.